guys and welcome to Neg Grit. My name is Cody Lee and in today's video we're going to go over this really cute yarn that I found. It's super interesting. I found this at Joanne Fabrics on an end cap and they had a bunch of different colors. I'll hopefully have had like a little screen grab that I have. If I don't know the video then I'll put a little picture of what I can find online for all the colors on here. But this is called Stitch Soak Scrub. It is 100% nylon. It is a Lion brand yarn and honestly it's super unique but I want to go over all the like things on the back here first. Each skein, I think it cost me like three dollars and then I ended up using a coupon so it came down to even cheaper. Um, it was 1.4 ounce per each skein and it is a medium or uh, worsted weight esque yarn so a size of four and you use a five millimeter either on your crochet hook or on your knitting needles and I wound up using two separate types of crochet hooks and one of them worked a lot better I'll get more uh, into detail about la that later on in the video but honestly this is such a unique type of yarn it's like chained all the way down it and I absolutely love how it works up it is not as harsh that was the thing that drew me to this in the first place it's not nearly as harsh as other scrubby yarns and I thought that was super cool so uh, in today's video I'm gonna be going over how I made my loofah pattern with this while I am gonna be sharing the pattern and how I'm doing that generally I'm this is not a tutorial on how to do my loofah pattern if you're interested in doing the actual pattern for that links are going to be down below. There will also be a free coupon link for that down below as well so you can get that loofah pattern for free. I'm also going to do a little update on all of that because that was a pattern that I did forever ago so I'm just going to update it. Let people have it for free for the first week and after that it'll go back to its normal pricing but just figured I would you know share it and since I'm sharing this yarn and if you want to go out to Joann's and get it and do it yourself you can get that pattern for free for this first week. So let's go ahead and pop on over to Future Cody where uh, I'm going to show you the pattern for the loofah just a little quick little like screen cappy dude probably overlaying it over my words right now and then we're going to go over to me working on it and then I'm going to go over to closing thoughts on this yarn it's really cool and uh spoiler alert I do recommend it all right so I have done one skein of these and that is how much loofah you get for your one skein's worth I am on the third row of the loofah pattern so basically I've increased from my original 20 to 80 and then 80 to whatever four times 80 is, so 240, and then 240, and now I am going on to the third row from 240 to 960? I'll put the math here, just I'm not good at it on the moment. But what I wound up doing is I ended up doing um, my seamless, it's gonna be hard to kind of show, but here, my seamless knot, my seamless join, and I'm not sure how well this is going to hold up for this, but I'll see. I'm, I'm kind of scared to cut it. So what I might end up doing is taking the tail and working it into the stitches of my loofah. I hope that makes sense. So I might just like crochet it into the loofah itself. I'll show you what the end product looks like, but I'm already halfway through. You can see here, this is the third row, this is the second row, and I'm continuing on just putting four stitches in every single stitch until this is as big as I want it. I have a feeling that the end of row three, I'm going to be pretty happy with the size of it, so we'll just continue on with that plan, but I might go on and go from 960 times four on row four and figure out what that would look like. Probably would just end up being like that much bigger on the top around the entire thing. So we'll see how far I get and how happy I am. I am taking breaks throughout this because this, while it's not like sharp or anything, it's not like the Scrubology yarn, it's still not pleasant to work with. It's not the most fun thing, but I do like the texture. Like, look at that as far as the chains. It actually looks better right there. It like just is springy. All right. Let's continue on and I'll show you what the end product looks like. All right, so it's been a hot minute since I have uh, recorded my last clip from this, but I did eventually finish this work and everything else got away from me and my hands did start hurting when I was working through this. So this is not a get it done all in one foul swoop project. I had to do this in kind of little bite size 
pieces. I'd, I'd sit and I'd do a big chunk and then I'd stop because my hands started hurting. So, and my hands have just been hurting. So I just wanted to let people know that like, I don't know if it's necessarily the yarn versus it's just a bit more taxing than typical yarn, if you know what I mean. My wrists have been hurting ever since I got COVID in January. For some reason that inflamed like my carpal tunnel and I have no idea why. So if you have like a harder time with working with rougher yarn, this might not be the thing for you. But this is still definitely way better than any other scrub yarn that I've ever used. Like Scrubology, there's the one that they have at um, Joann's and one that they had at uh, AC Moore back in the day that uh, is still really rough to work on the hands and honestly this thing scrubs up so well I used it for a small little tiny guy and it scrubs up really really well for a little tiny little scrub pad and I imagine you could also use this for like dish scrubbies too that would be awesome I'm using this for a body scrubby though because I can put this into a dishwasher or into a uh, washing machine and it will clean it of all the bacteria and ickiness that comes through and it will still work just as well. So I'm really excited about this. It took me forever to get this done. Um, I was originally using this rose gold pretty five millimeter crochet hook that I bought, but then I follow uh, a woman named Crochetverse. Uh, Stephanie, I don't know how to say her last name. Courtney? Courtney? I'm not entirely sure how to say her last name, so I apologize, Stephanie, but she goes by Crochetverse. She's an amazing content creator. If you've never seen her works with her, her children's Halloween costumes, absolutely amazing. But she posted this video called about Tulip Etimo, Etimo? E-T-I-M-O, crochet hooks, and she swears by them. So of course I had to buy one. And I'm going to be doing a full-on review on these crochet hooks, but I did the rest of this uh, loofah. I got halfway through and I did it with this five millimeter uh, Tulip Etmo crochet hook and oh my goodness, it is ergonomic. Something about how this grips, if you grip and you're a pencil gripper, this is absolutely spectacular. So I definitely will be singing this praises during another review. I was working with two separate crochet hooks, so, but I feel like with this pattern, it doesn't super duper matter. If I, I wouldn't usually, change over to a different crochet hook mid project, but it didn't seem to make that much of a difference as far as looks, but it made all the difference in working with it. Holy moly, get an ergonomic crochet hook if you're gonna be working with scrubby yarn because it made my work so much easier. Oh, and in the end, I only ended up using two of these to get this giant, massive loofah, and I still have this much left over, which I'm gonna be turning into a scrubby, so it's not gonna go to waste. So I have reached the end of my pattern right here. This is my tail. And over here, we're going to cut. I haven't finished off, finished off yet. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna cut a decent tail and pull that through, take my darning needle, and I'm gonna do my seamless fasten off. I have a link for that in the loofah video too, but basically you skip over. It's really hard to see your stitches, but hopefully that's clear enough. I'm gonna skip over this stitch and go in from the front towards the back of our second stitch there, and that is gonna create the first leg of our stitch, basically is what we're gonna be trying to do. And then over here, I'm gonna go through the center of that last stitch, and I'm gonna weasel this through the centers of some stitches as well, so that it's actually going to stay forever. Is that in? That's pretty much in, so I'm gonna do that and slide it into not that as well, and then slide it that way, that way, and then pull it so that it is the same size and that it's kinda just loosey goosey let it be there so now that is how i finish off if you want to add a string to this you can if you want to do uh i found that my uh, little chain didn't work as well with this yarn so i didn't start with a nice little chain ring like the usual loofah pattern does but if you want to do that you're absolutely free to do that i'm gonna just take some twine and make a little handle that way i'm also gonna work this through quite a few more centers of those stitches just to get it like going down the line. I always like to make it go down enough that if it fell out for whatever reason, I could use the tail to fix it again, if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna keep working through this and just kind of adding my tail to things. But generally, I really liked this yarn. It was hard to work with, but I like the final project 
quite a bit. It is very nice. So I'm going to pull that, let it all go loosey-goosey on the inside of there, and then we're going to cut our tails. I'm super happy with how that turned out. It's super easy to work with. It works up like normal yarn. Oh, I like this a lot. It's really cool. So if you're looking for an interesting new scrubby yarn, honestly, you would be well served by this. So that's pretty much my review of the, um, it's such a bland name though, Stitch Soak Scrub by uh, Lion Brand. It's really cool. I have a bunch of different colors. I might actually go and get a couple of the other colors or I have like one, two, three, four, five, six of these left. So I might just make more loofahs depending on whether or not my hands will give out or not. So that is pretty much it. I'm gonna add a little twine to the center. I'm just gonna like loop it through the center right there and call that good. It looks super cute. And let me know what you guys think down below in the comments and whether or not you would try out the Stitch Soak Scrub. It's really nifty yarn. Thank you for watching this video. And before we go, I'd like to give a shout out to our Patreon supporters. Without your support, we want to be able to grow as a channel. So thank you for your generous pledges. If you're interested in supporting my channel, you can go to patreon.com slash knit where you can see different rewards. We offer our patrons there, free patterns, earlier access to tutorials and stuff like that. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the little bell before you leave if you want to see more videos like this. Till next time, guys. Bye!